so you might hear that cosplay is pretty expensive. And that can be the case if you work with really expensive fabrics or perhaps some nice oil paints. But cosplay can also be surprisingly cheap. And this also goes for Ren Faire and crafts in general. Cosplay is just what I mainly work in. I'm going to show you how I took $25 worth of materials, that's right, only $25 worth, and turned it into these beautiful Luna moth wings that are both easy to make and pretty fun to wear. As always, you can find my patterns on my Etsy, Skyline Stars Cosplay, and I even have my version 1 of my moth wings on there that's more of an emperor moth. Anyways, let's get on to the tutorial. For the base of the moth wings, I'm actually using this very lightweight and sheer fabric that I got at the thrift store, and these are actually just sheer curtains. Again, for my reference, I'm using the Luna Moth to see if I can get those fun little long wings. I went ahead and just freehanded the shapes because I didn't want to spend the time to print out a pattern and lay it down, so here's me cutting out each shape, flipping it over, pinning the other side, and there's two top wings. I wasn't that excited with the first draft, it didn't look like a Luna Moth, especially looking at the top wings and the bottom wings at this reference, so I went ahead and cut down the top wings in half to end up with this. Lastly for the base, I went ahead and used Rit Dye More and Synthetic to go ahead and dye my fabric curtains. Here they are in this beautiful dye bath to make them a nice light green. To combat fraying on my fabric, especially with this type of really sheer and lightweight fabric, I came up with a solution to combine Mod Podge and paint. I could also get that really cute pink border the Luna Moth has. To apply it, I just laid one wing out flat and slowly covered all of the borders with the paint. Just brushed it on. Then I moved on to adding the actual paint details. I used fabric paint for this. And here is the chart that I have laid out on my moth wing pattern. There's only three colors you have to paint on, one being the Mod Podge color and two vein and accent colors. So really, you can make this moth any colors you want. Here's my finished paint job for the top wing. I like the little moon details and adding the veins was a really nice pop. Then of course I painted the bottom wings in a very similar fashion. You can see the little moon details are sparkly. Then you do this for all of the wings. And if you see the fray check here with the Mod Podge worked out, I just trimmed off any excess bits. And no fraying here. Here's the painted wings. Now we have to actually sew them together and make them wearable. So I have them laid out here with the top wings in a sort of arch and the bottom wings about an inch from the top, like that. And we're going to want to sew them all together so that they're all attached. To make this a little bit easier, I just started with the two bottom wings and sewed where they overlapped, like that. Now I'm going to sew across where the clips are in this little area right here, just so I can attach the top wings to the bottom wings. When sewing a delicate fabric like this, especially one with Mod Podge around the edges, make sure you just go slow and steady at a pace that you're comfortable with. The stitch I used is just a simple straight stitch, and for the length, it was actually pretty small, just so it all held all of the pieces together. Make sure you backstitch at the end to make sure everything is super tight and secure. And there's your wings! After trying them on, I noticed that they were a little bit floppy where they don't connect, so I decided to stitch the top wing to the bottom wings, as well as stitching the two bottom wings together. Here is the fit test. I am in love with how they came out. Right now they're just resting on my shoulders. You can see they're easy to fall off. But that can be fixed by just adding some straps. And I did this by taking an old pillowcase and I cut two six inch, one inch thick um, scraps of fabric and I'm going to turn them into little strappies. I sewed on some velcro just so it's easy to attach. And then I attached it to my wings. Just a reminder, you can find this pattern over on my Etsy, Skyline Stars Cosplay. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you all so much for watching and your support. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, 
and to share this video with your friends. And if you really liked it, maybe you could subscribe and see more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next week. And an extra special thanks to my patrons, Phoenix Ghost, Bulls, Pinpin13, Chris, Nathan, and Brandon. Thank you all so much for your support. See ya!